When deciding on a Canadian vacation destination, there's a lot more than beautiful scenery to consider. There's also food. That's a big consideration. Chef Dale McKay has flown in from Saskatoon to bring us a taste of his newly opened Italian restaurant, Little Grouse on the prairie. Yes. Okay, I love the name of this restaurant. I know <laughs> the cute, first right? the first restaurant you named after your son Aiden. <laughs> yes. Right? So this is number two. This is number two, yeah. It's great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And we're going to make some pasta together, which is a hit at your restaurant that's been open two weeks and sold out every night. Two weeks, yeah. We've been really busy, which is great. You know, Saskatoon uh, is definitely, we're proud, uh, pr proud Saskatchewan. Uh, people and uh, we definitely support our kind of local businesses and stuff so so Italian eatery but tell me about the wheat that's used in the making of this pasta yeah you know Saskatchewan being uh, kind of the breadbasket of not just uh, Canada but North America you know we produce you know 60 I think 4% of all the lentils that is on the world trade yeah. uh, you know tons of grains and all different types of things and so uh, obviously we want to use local everything we can local cheese local dairy local grains and so that's what we're doing you know and this is stuffed pasta. Tell me what you just did there, Dale. Yeah, this is uh, camelli. So basically, camelli. yeah. So all, all, all we're putting in there really is mozzarella, eggs, and and that's it. Yeah, that's good yeah, enough for me. That's, that's enough. That's, that's all you really that need. That sounds great. And then so this is the shape where basically they're kind of modeled after a bonbon or a. a they do kind look of candy, like little right? candies. Yeah. My two favorite things yes. together. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is great. They're so cute. So do you want to try one? Okay. Okay. So you just take that in your hand okay. and you're gonna fold it over like, like that. that. Like little present yeah and then okay. essentially kind of squeeze like the ends mm -hmm. and then you want to twist it so you uh -oh. have the little I did a bad twist the, oh it's all right the cheese is about yeah, to pop okay. out I think one towns are rustic okay is know? that rustic enough that looks okay. actually better than mine look at that okay all is right that, okay and then we have some tortellinis which is just another shape same filling then we have a ravioli uh, you know we can do some tagnatelli or some fettuccine really it's quite versatile and it's it's all pretty it's all pretty relaxed there's so much pasta <clears> out there how do you know which sauces go well with which ones? Is well, there a pairing situation? Yeah, well, I think honestly in North America, like we we often overdo the saucing uh, of pasta. It doesn't need as much as we think. No, I you know I think we overdo the cream and overdo the kind of the sauce. I think often it's more about the sauce than it is about the pasta. When it should be the other way around, it should be all about the pasta, all about the noodle, the texture, the flavor of the of the actual filling of it. And uh, the sauce we're going to make right now, it's, I don't know if you can even really call it a sauce. It's really just going to be butter and, and a bit of sage. Oh, the and more that's butter, be the it. better. Yeah. Okay, so chunk yeah. of butter in there. Chunk of butter in there, and we're going to throw that, and we're just going to pop a piece of sage in there and just let it kind of fry up. And that's and it? You're not putting any spices or No, nothing, else? no, wow. because the cheese the cheese is really kind of the start of the show, the, the cheese and the actual pasta, and that's that's all we really we really need to So to there do. there are 36 seats in your restaurant? 36 seats, yeah. It's a tiny little uh, spot, and it's in a heritage building 112 year old heritage building uh, you can literally sit two feet from from the chefs we're all kind of sitting there cool kind of, though because then you can cool, engage yeah. with your yeah. with your clientele yeah they can ask you tons of questions it. yes do you give your recipes away Yes, you I'm do. pretty sure you have it online. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're about to give it away in a second. But you know, I chefs so. are like, you know, you go to those places, seriously though, you go to those places, well, you know, it's the chef's secret. Or, or like the one we'll put on our website, chefs are known to leave stuff out. So yes, that when you no, go I... to make it at home, it's not quite the same. No, I... They've left out some main ingredient <laughs> because they don't want you to know everything. No, I don't agree with that. You know, it, it, it's, I always say too, like, you know, when chefs are working at the restaurant, I'll give you the recipe. If you want to go and try to open up a restaurant and base it all around that recipe then go ahead you know eventually you're gonna run out of tricks you're gonna have to you know keep cooking so uh, and we do a lot of recipes for uh, for co-op uh, as well and so I do a lot of recipe development and it, it is very important that recipes work at home people get mad they, you know, they, they, or she, they think they're doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah. It, it worked out for yeah. that chef. Why isn't it working out for me? Well, yeah. probably because they told you you were supposed to use, you know, margarine when you should have yeah. been using butter. You know that kind of thing. But I'm glad you, you're on the up and up. Yes, yeah. We're, so you were supposed to you were supposed to be in town for a little bit, and it's so yeah. darn busy. You've got to get on a plane right after back, we right finish after this. this. Yeah, yeah. Basically, we're, we're going right to the airport almost. This is fantastic looking. Is this done? It's Just done. like that? That's it, yeah. See, I like this easy peasy cooking. Yeah, and so you have a little little kind of excess butter on there, but they're really they're just warmed up because the pasta, it's so thin. The cheese, all you have to do is warm it, toss a little bit of butter, a little bit of sage, and, and that's it. You're lovely. Yeah, all the best lovely. to you. Thank you. <laughs> You'll find Dale's pasta recipe, the one that works, yeah. on our website. 